All right guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to take an FMX and then also how to get everything set up. And then we're gonna call the patient back and run through a whole FMX. So we'll go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna set up all my barriers first. So here we have our barrier roll. I'm gonna put one on the mouse so that way we can click in and out of the screens while we're working. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more over our button and that is outside of the room. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and set up our rinse. You always wanna make sure you guys are setting up your rinse before you bring your patient back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so. And whenever I'm setting them up, if I'm starting on the upper right, I always like to use myself as a reference. So I kind of just Go ahead and get it set up. I know I'm gonna start in the upper right, so we're good there. Set up my bite wing. We're gonna set up our interiors. All right, now that I got it set up, notice that I had gloves on when I was handling the rinse. I'm gonna take these off so I can go ahead and grab my patient. Whenever you're taking x-rays, you want to make sure that one, you know if the patient is pregnant or not, or you can go ahead and ask them, Brooke, are you pregnant? I am not. You are? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so you're always going to want to put the lead apron on. So that protects the patient from any type of radiation. If, you know, if it's a mother who is pregnant, you have to advise them, you know, that they have to get clearance to get any type of radiation from their GYN, or just make sure that they're okay being exposed to radiation. For the most part, you don't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and start. Since I already put my barriers on my mouse, I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves to go ahead and click the program to go ahead and start timing our FMX. Make sure you select the right thing whenever you are starting. One thing I didn't go over is always having a plastic cover on your sensor. So if they're digital x-rays, you're always gonna wanna have some type of barrier on the sensor. Go ahead and slide it in. Remember when you guys slide the sensor in, these are retractable, okay? So you go ahead and do that, slide it in there. And then your wires always with your bar. So wire, bar, okay? I'll go ahead and start. Back. All right, and if you guys notice it said sensor ready, that means we're ready to start the next image. So go ahead and open up. So go ahead and bite down. I'm going to show you guys how to place it in one second. One thing you guys are going to notice when you're lining up your x-ray tube to your target, you make sure this line is parallel with your arm of your rim. So that metal bar needs to be parallel with this. You don't want to have it angled and you don't want to have it not lined up with the circle. Okay, so you got to make sure it's pretty parallel. Sorry if I hit you there, Brooke. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and step out. Remember to completely remove yourself out of the room whenever you're taking the x-ray or shooting the image. Hold the button all the way in until you hear that beep stop. We'll take that out. Go ahead and open up. We'll take that out. One thing you guys have to know is once you shoot that image, you guys have to run in the room, not literally run, but as fast as you can to go ahead and remove that sensor. I'm sure we all know that these aren't the most comfortable things, so you have to try to take that out as soon as possible. Sensor ready. All right, that looks like a good x-ray. One other thing, if you just want to maybe stand over there, I'm going to show you how to insert it. So whenever you're putting any of the x-ray rings in, or make sure there's a certain angle you're going to place it. It's easier for you and comfortable for the patient. 
So if you notice, it's angled just like so. It's easy to slide. Then you're gonna retract her cheek to slide it back. And then now you can have her bite down. So it's very minimal discomfort. So same thing here. Shoot the two. Perfect. Up. Now we did the two on the upper right. Now we're going to switch over to the lower. We are not switching the x ray rim just yet. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Open up. So remember that angle, that retract, it, retract the cheek. Go ahead and bite all the way down. Perfect. I'm going to have you turn that way and raise your chin up as high. Perfect. You always want to make sure that you're putting the patient in position. So make sure that it's comfortable, that obviously you can line this up correctly, and that when you are doing so, you're not bumping them with this. So that looks pretty good there. Be careful when you guys are walking in and out of the room with the sensor and the wire. Because it's very easy to step over it. Go ahead and open up. Open up, and then bite down. Go ahead and raise your chin, turn opposite of me, perfect. So that way it gives me more room to line this up, okay? That looks pretty good there. You don't have to be exactly on the target, but you wanna come as close as you can to it. The angle is key there. You doing okay, bro? I'm doing great. Okay. So now that we took our two upper right and our two lower left, now we're gonna switch the rim. So when you guys switch this, it's gonna be a quick movement and try not to confuse yourself. I always like to hold it facing That's me okay. to do so. So what I mean by that is you're gonna flip the circle one way, quick flip, same thing here. Quick flip movement, movement, very minimal movement. You don't want to confuse yourself. So now the wire is facing away from the bar. So you got to make sure you flip your sensor as well. Just like so. Now when you guys are like trying to like capture the wisdom teeth or go really far back in the posterior, one quick trick is you can go ahead and slide your sensor either farther back or you can slide it farther forward if you're trying to capture the, capture the premolars. Depends what image you're taking. So remember, one quick flip, minimal movement. All right, go ahead and open up. All right, perfect. And then bite down, awesome. All right, turn that way for me. A little bit more. There you go. Now we're just going to kind of slide and go a little bit faster through these. Bite down. Perfect. So I've already showed you guys some of the tricks. So go ahead and turn towards me. Now we're just going to kind Sense of line this up. And one thing you guys notice, this is on a swivel. So obviously there's different basically arms and joints to it, but this swivels up and down. So this is going to be your best friend when it comes to lining this up. Perfect. Open up. Now we're going to her lower right. I'm only flipping the rim. We are not touching the bite tab or the target. We're just flipping it physically. So go to the lower, bite down right there. Perfect. Turn opposite of me. Perfect. Raise your chin up a little more. Awesome. Alright, open up, 
You got to give it a second to basically capture the image, but once you hear sensor ready, you can go ahead and capture the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right in. I'm going to go a little faster here, right down. Perfect. Awesome. Turn that way for me. Great. Sensor ready. Perfect. All right, open. That right now. So now that we are done with all of the posterior images, we're gonna go ahead and move to our anterior. So remember, anterior are always gonna be blue. Same type of deal here. So instead of the sensor going in the rim horizontally, now it's gonna go vertically because you're capturing basically the whole root, everything of the tooth on these anteriors. So we're gonna go ahead and place it like so. All right, so same type of deal. Remember the angle of how you place it is everything. Good? Okay. So you wanna place it before you tell them to bite down. We'll have a lot of patients, even just like so, sometimes it'll move once you get it in. So you have to make sure. All right, you bite down right there for me. Perfect. And you hold it in place while they're biting down to make sure that you're capturing the image you want for the two numbers you're capturing. Alright, open up. We're gonna go to the next one. So it's just like a swoop motion. So you're gonna go ahead and slide it in, lightly tilt it, but not much. Remember, they don't have much room on the palate of their mouth. It's discomforting when that sensor is touching it. So you have to be careful with it. Sensor ready. Perfect. Open up. Alright. Open up just a little bit more. Back down right there. Doing okay? Alright. And the better you are walking your patients through anything, whether it's a procedure or an FMX, the more comfortable they will feel. So open up. Perfect. Now for the lower, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip this, so same type of deal. You don't have to um, actually take the target off or the bite tab, you're literally just taking it from the upper, turning it for the lower. So see how she stuck her tongue out? Basically, you can use this as like almost like a fulcrum. So you're gonna go ahead and rest the sensor on her tongue and kind of push back. So just be careful and bite down, perfect. I think we're good there. Remember the wire always has to be out of the image. So I'm going to move it again in a second because it's still in my image there. And now you can kind of like rest it up. Okay. 